हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज डॉक्टर श्वेता आनंद एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सिंप्लीफाइड डेंटिस्ट्री टुडेज टॉपिक इज टूथ नंबरिंग सिस्टम इन क्लिनिकल प्रैक्टिस सम शॉर्ट हैंड सिस्टम ऑफ टूथ नोटेशन इज नेसेसरी फॉर रिकॉर्डिंग डेटा सेवरल सिस्टम्स आर इन यूज अराउंड द वर्ल्ड बट ओनली थ्री सिस्टम्स आर कॉमनली यूज दे आर यूनिवर्सल नंबरिंग सिस्टम सिगमॉन डी पाबन नोटेशन एंड फेडरेशन डेंटेयर इंटरनेशनल that is fti first let's know about universal numbering system universal numbering system was proposed by parrot in 1882 and it was officially adopted by american dental association in 1968 in this system numbers 1 to 32 are used to denote the permanent teeth and english alphabets a to t in upper case are used to denote primary teeth Universal notation for permanent teeth. Numbers one to thirty-two are used to denote teeth in permanent dentition. The numbering begins from posterior most tooth in upper right quadrant, that is maxillary right third molar, and numbering goes in a clockwise direction. For example, left maxillary third molar is designated as sixteen, left mandibular third molar is seventeen. and right mandibular third molar is 32 universal notation for primary teeth the universal notation for primary dentition use upper case english letters a to t maxillary teeth are designated as alphabet a to j beginning with right maxillary second molar for mandibular teeth letter k to t are used advantages of universal numbering system The concept is simple. Each tooth has a unique numerical or alphabetical code. It can be communicated verbally. It is compatible with computer keyboard. Disadvantages of universal numbering system. It is difficult to memorize the notation of each tooth and also it is difficult to visualize. Now let's know about Sigmondi Palmer system. This system is the oldest method in use from 1861 and it was recommended as the numbering system of choice by American Dental Association in 1947. In Palmer system the mouth is divided into four sections called the quadrants. The system uses a unique L-shaped symbol or grid. The counting always begins at the midline and progresses backward. The symbol indicates the quadrant in which the specific tooth is found. and the number indicates the position of the tooth from midline sigmondi palmer notation for permanent teeth permanent teeth is numbered 1 to 8 in each quadrant as mentioned earlier the number begins from midline and moves backward for example 1 is central incisor 3 is canine 4 and 5 are premolars and 8 is third molar Sigmondi Palmer notation for primary teeth. The quadrant symbol are same as that used for permanent dentition. The upper case English letters A to E are used to depict primary teeth in each quadrant. In this also the numbering starts from midline and continues backward. For example, A is central incisor, B is lateral incisor, C is canine, D is first molar. and e is second molar advantages of palmer system one major advantage of this notation is that it produces a graphical image similar to map so anomalies like tooth transposition and edential spaces can be easily represented using this notation it is simple to follow and user friendly also the quadrant symbols are similar for both dentitions disadvantages of palmer system it is generally incompatible for computer it is difficult to use this system for verbal communication there are more chances of error while designating the site of tooth now let's know about the fdi system since the other two system did not comply with the requirements set by fdi The organization introduced its own two-digit system in 1970. According to FDI committee, 
five criteria are made by this system. They are as follows. First is, it should be simple to understand and teach. Second, it should be easy to pronounce in conversation. Third, it should be readily communicable in print. Fourth, it should be easy to translate into computer. And fifth, it should be easily adopted to standard chart used in general practice. The FDI system used two digits for each tooth. The first digit always denotes the quadrant. 1 to 4 indicates permanent teeth and 5 to 8 indicates primary teeth. The second digit denotes the tooth. 1 to 8 are used in permanent teeth whereas 1 to 5 are used in primary teeth. FDA system for permanent dentition. The mouth is divided into four quadrants. The quadrants in secondary dentition are 1 to 4 in clockwise direction. 1 is upper right, 2 is upper left, 3 is lower left, and 4 is lower right. Each quadrant in secondary dentition has 8 teeth and designated as 1 to 8 beginning from midline such that 1 is central incisor, 3 is canine, and 6 is first molar. Let's see one example. 1 6 is denoted as permanent maxillary right first molar and is spelt as 1 6 and not 16. FDI system for primary dentition. The four quadrants of primary teeth are designated as 5 to 8 in clockwise manner. Each quadrant has five teeth and designated as 1 to 5 beginning from midline. Now let's know about the advantages of FDI system. It is internationally followed system. It is only method that makes visual as well as computer sense. It can be easily used for verbal communication. It is easy to type, print and is compatible with computer processing system. It helps to prevent errors while differentiating between right and left side of mouth or between upper and lower arches. Thank you for watching this video and for more such contents related to dentistry, please like, share and subscribe to Simplified Dentistry.